Cyanide intoxication occurs when the body is exposed to high levels of cyanide, a potent toxin that interferes with cellular respiration. Cyanide can be encountered through various routes, such as ingestion, inhalation, or dermal exposure. It is important to recognize the signs and symptoms early, as, as prompt diagnosis and treatment are crucial for favorable outcomes. The clinical presentation of cyanide intoxication can vary depending on the route and amount of exposure. Common symptoms include 1. Rapid onset of neurological manifestations. Patients may experience confusion, agitation, seizures, or loss of consciousness. 2. Cardiovascular instability. Cyanide can cause significant cardiovascular effects, including tachycardia, hypotension, and cardiac arrhythmias. 3. Respiratory distress. Cyanide interferes with cellular respiration, leading to rapid and labored breathing, and in severe cases, respiratory phases, respiratory failure. The diagnosis of cyanide intoxication includes 1. Arterial blood gas analysis may reveal metabolic acidosis and elevated lactate levels. 2. Measurement of cyanide levels in blood or body fluids can aid in confirming the diagnosis. The management of cyanide intoxication should focus on four key aspects. 1. Supportive measures. Ensure adequate oxygenation and ventilation to support respiratory function. Establish intravenous access for fluid resuscitation and maintain hemodynamic stability. 2. The administration of specific antidotes is critical to counteract the effects of cyanide. Hydroxocobalamin and sodium thiosulfate are commonly used antidotes that enhance cyanide detoxification and elimination. 3. Decontamination. If cyanide exposure is due to ingestion or dermal contact, decontamination measures such as gastric lavage or activated charcoal administration may be considered. 4. Adjunctive therapies. In severe cases, additional therapies such as hyperbaric oxygen therapy or hemodialysis may be necessary, especially when antidotes alone are insufficient. In severe cases of cyanide poisoning, if there is no response to supportive therapy, and there is no possibility for obtaining and administering hydroxocobalamin early in the course, hemodialysis might be considered as a method to remove free blood cyanide and thiocyanates and to remove toxic metabolic byproducts. Antidotes used in the management of cyanide poisoning. 1. Hydroxocobalamin. Hydroxocobalamin is a commonly used antidote for cyanide poisoning. It works by binding to cyanide to form cyanobalamin, which is then excreted through the kidneys. Hydroxocobalamin has a high affinity for cyanide and rapidly scavenges free cyanide molecules in the body. It has the advantage of a wide therapeutic window and can be administered intravenously as a single dose. 2. Sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate is another antidote used in the treatment of cyanide poisoning. It acts by enhancing the detoxification of cyanide through the conversion of cyanide to thiocyanate, which is less toxic and can be excreted in the urine. Sodium thiosulfate is often used in combination with hydroxocobalamin to enhance the efficacy of cyanide detoxification. 3. Methylene blue. Methylene blue is an alternative antidote that can lessen cyanide toxicity by re-establishing oxidation reduction equilibrium and calcium channel activity. Methylene blue is administered intravenously and should be used cautiously in patients with G6PD deficiency, as it can induce hemolysis in these individuals. 4. Amyl nitrite and sodium nitrite. Amyl nitrite and sodium nitrite are inhalation and intravenous agents, respectively, that can be used in specific situations where hydroxocobalamin or sodium thiosulfate are not immediately available. These agents work by inducing methemoglobinemia, which sequesters cyanide and reduces its toxicity. However, their use is less common and may be associated with potential side effects and complications. It is important to note that the choice of antidote may depend on factors such as availability, patient characteristics, and the severity of cyanide poisoning. Prompt administration of these antidotes, as well as appropriate supportive care, is crucial in managing cyanide intoxication effectively.